this album um, used, well, Inner Speaker was um, a, a bit more guitar based than this album. Um, this one, have you used more instruments or have you replicated instruments through machines? Uh, yeah, there's definitely more instruments. Um, I think it was kind of like, first album was kind of um, imagining a band setting up and playing and writing the so songs like that, you know, where the guitar part would go the whole song through, it would change and then like, you know, the bass would be behind the whole time, the drums would be going the whole time. But with this one was kind of more like getting a whole sort of like plethora of instruments and just sort of picking them for different parts of the song, like, you know, as you would, as like a, like a, an orchestra of like sounds that can just, like a guitar can come in for two seconds and then disappear forever, you know, it doesn't have to be there the whole time. So it was kind of just like, I just felt more liberal with um, when things could like happen in a song, you know, when, when like a sound can come in, all that kind of stuff. How do you replicate it live if you're just using bits of songs? Uh, we have bits a few of tricks up right. our sleeve. Um, that's kind of been like the most fun thing about um, putting the live show together recently is that it um, we're using all these um, things that, I've never used before, you know, like um, MIDI keyboards and stuff like that and um, drum machine trigger things and stuff, like all things are kind of connected to each other and people can, like Dom, for example, plays keys and guitar, like, you know, play keys for like a few seconds and then switch to his guitar and then change his guitar sound and then back to the keyboard and stuff like that. Yeah, the, I think the challenge of it makes it more fun and exciting for us. It's a lot more interesting doing what we're doing now trying to like bring together this album into the live scenario than just kind of everyone learning their bit and then that's pretty much it i think it's much more stimulating trying to replicate or trying to adapt the album to doing it live i think do you ever freak out and go like hang on i've got to finish <laughs> that on the the keys and then get over here and somehow manage to manipulate my fingers and get a you know or whatever or that's the whole time <laughs> <laughs> See proper working during a show. I actually have the least to do, but yeah. I, I screw up the most. <laughs> I hit the most bung chords out of everyone, out of anyone in the band, and I'm the least busy. Except I'm singing, which takes a lot out of you. <laughs> so you have to be on the yeah, whole time. Totally. We don't. Well, if we were actually like talented, we probably would be able to like drink and stuff. But now we like don't drink before we play and stuff. And really, oh, actually, that's true. I don't. I don't get that. Um, yeah, you totally have to be on, and it makes it. I, I prefer it than just kind of being on autopilot, because then it's not as much like when you're stimulated, it's more fun. I find. Like, yeah, no, I, I totally agree with that. Although sometimes it'd be easy just if you just wanted to phone a gig in. You know, sometimes you can't be bothered. Do you ever get like that? Um, we care too I much, suppose. man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's keep going on with this album. Uh, actually, before we do. Um, so you produced this with the same producer you did last time for um, Inner Speaker, Dave, right? Uh, he he was the mixing. So you produced it and he mixed it. Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. Because does that would you ever go with someone else then, like for producing? So you produced the whole album. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess you could say that, but it's not really like I'm sitting there going, right, I'm producing this album. It's kind of just doing it. You know, I I wouldn't know where the line is between an artist and a producer. Because right. it's just kind of doing it. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Like, um, I just sort of make the song and work on it until it's apparently finished. Is it, their, is it their ear, though, that's meant to be the, the fine thing and that, you know, that they can tweak it or you can just do that yourself? Is that what you're saying? Oh, well, I, when Dave comes into it, it's very kind of scientific and, and um, physical because he's, like, taking the tracks and taking... I'll give him, like, a rough mix of, like... I'll, this is what I this is what I'm trying to make it sound like, and he'll take that in individual tracks, and then he'll Dave Fridman eyes it, right? Dave Fridman will fire it, and it just has a completely a much sort of more explosive and dynamic sound to it than, than I can ever do because he's Dave Fridman and he has cosmic wizard abilities. 